Good morning. Welcome to Helsinki. We're in our little Airbnb apartment in... I'm going to give this a crack. Haitalaudenranta. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, not too far out of the main hub of Helsinki anyway. It's 8 o'clock here in the morning in Helsinki and I want to show you something really cool. As an you can see, you probably see yourself in the reflection. But it is still pretty much dark outside. So Helsinki being so far north, it um, takes quite a while for that sun to come up and then it goes down very quickly in winter. I think 9 a.m. in the morning it comes up and then it heads down at 3.10 p.m. So we have pretty much, what's that, six hours of sightseeing as such. Plan to see at night, mind you. Um, anyhow, we're going to um, go out, head out, take a look and not really plan it. Like you could go and try and see all the stuff they've got to see here and there seems to be plenty of it. We only have one day, so we're just really going to soak up the atmosphere and just have no expectations and go with it. And there's something really cool about that no expectations thing, which I think is going to help you anywhere in life, which I'll share a little bit later. So we'll get ourselves ready, finish off our coffees, or I mean it's having tea, and um, we'll get to it. See you soon. <laughs> So we are in the, uh, <laughs> hang on, here we go. I'm short. You're short. We walked through the, uh, what they call the Helsinki, is it art district? What do you call it? Art district. Yes. Uh, the design district. Oh, the design district, how bad. And I stumbled across one of the Helsinki, let me focus in on this thing. What? The, the Helsinki building. Really nice building. We're going to actually come back here because there's a Christmas market. So we're going to come back here at night time and get some more shots of it with the uh, lights and stuff and the busyness of it. Sorry, I just cut you off again. I'm getting whipped in my um, <laughs> It's always snow. Yeah, it's snowing. It's definitely snowing. So we're getting very, very wet. The camera's getting frozen, but it's absolutely beautiful city. So um, got to love Helsinki. So let's go and find a boat and catch it to yeah. the wherever we're going. Sorry, there you go. Super <laughs> close up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Amanda's bailed on me. She's cold. We're heading over to Sumanilla, I think it's called, which is um, a uh, sea fortress, they call it. Just over that way. Freezing cold on the back of this boat. We might, I think it's a 15 minute trip, so we might be ice cold. Oh, she's back. Hello there. My little Eskimo. So yeah, it's a 15 minute trip, cost five euro each, which is pretty cheap. And um, yeah, it's got a nice view, but it's cold. Yeah, it's um, one of those things that it's really cold, but the same snowboarding, I think you're rugged up and you're, you're moving a lot faster, so... I'm wearing this... three layers <laughs> of thermals, I have three pairs of socks, two pairs of trousers, three jumpers... So it's cold, it's cold. It's one of those things though, it's just, you know, it's Finland in the winter, it's, a, it's short days and they're cold. And... It's the because we're right on the sea. It's the wind. Oh yeah, we're on the sea. That's true. It's that wind. So we're going to try and work our way back across this little island thing and get to a warm coffee shop. I want hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Oh wait, quick! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run. <laughs> so <laughs> right. So we're going to um. Oh. oh. Child, we're gonna make our way back to um, back to a coffee shop somewhere. I can see you coming. <laughs> um, gonna, yeah, warm up our hands because I was flying that drone before and bare gloved. My goodness, was it cold! 
But uh, anyway, so this, yeah, is worth coming to. I think, like, we didn't really set any plans at all today. We had a look in the guide and just thought we'd just wander around and see what happened. And uh, here we are, I suppose. Yeah. Super short and close to, to Helsinki, which is great. And my arm's going to drop off trying to hold up this camera. I'm going to get stronger, go to the gym more when I get home. Next year's problem. Anyway, um, one of the things that we have kind of, well, I've kind of decided regarding travel is really not to make too many set plans on what to do or see. I just think I like to take it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's your take, <laughs> Hang on two seconds, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're back. Look at that. You can see yourself now. I'm tall. Put on a different lens so that we had a wider angle. <laughs> now, what was I saying? Oh, so we're traveling. Um, didn't really sort of set any plans on what to go and see or what to do just looked at the map and said there's some interesting places and then off we went yeah. and if we bump into them we bump, him, bump into them just bees are hard with the frozen mouth <laughs> and i think that's um one thing i've learned and i'm learning still in life itself is that when you go out there with certain expectations or a set path and things don't quite go to plan it can be really easily to be easy to be disappointed or kind of frustrated with the fact mm. that you haven't seen or haven't done what you wanted to do and yeah you drop those expectations in life and all of a sudden things just if they're good they're good if they're bad they're bad because you didn't have a standard there's no real up or down I guess just be grateful that you're on holiday yeah. in Finland yeah be grateful so <laughs> Yeah, so far thoroughly enjoying it. We've only got one day here, so it's a short, sharp visit. And then we're flying up to Kaxlauten to go dog sledding. That's going to be yeah. awesome fun. I have high expectations, I must admit, on that one. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so, here I am saying don't have expectations, but it's a learning curve. Anyway, we're going to um, go find a coffee shop, warm yes. ourselves back up. And then we're going to take you for a little tour to what we think are night Christmas markets, which we saw on the way here. So that's going to be kind of cool. Pun intended. Alright. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Found some donuts. How good's that? <laughs> she just dropped it. <laughs> so I'm here at the big white church with Princess Leia. For those who know Star Wars, you'll recognise these things. Um, I'm going to go with this place being called Sinatori, but. I'll just have to flash it up on the screen because honestly I can't really remember where we're at how to say it. Anyway, really cool little spot and um, during winter, I'm assuming it's a Christmas market only, not too sure, but yeah, there's a, um, plenty to see and look at and do and taste. It's not cheap here, I got this mulled wine which I'm not a big fan of, it costs 8 euro, which is like 14 Australian dollars, which is pretty expensive for what it is, but it's yummy, it's getting Amanda kind of tipsy here, which is good. Um, anyway, we're going to have a bit more of a look around at these markets so and you can check them out. After that, I don't know what we're going to do. So, probably signing off for tonight, right? I reckon. Yeah, probably signing off for tonight. So, yeah, Helsinki in winter. <laughs> <laughs>